Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Now, it seems like for the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about Cloud9 a lot. We've been talking about Sven a lot, probably even too much, but outside of MSI, um, there hasn't been a lot of big League of Legends news to talk about, and I don't want to just make endless MSI videos. Um, obviously, I've been enjoying MSI a lot. I think it's been really exciting. I think overall, it's been really fun after the rumble stage started i think it's been uh, overall a very very good tournament a very very memorable msi a lot of close games it seems like anybody can win any game there's been some big upsets some crazy moments all that stuff uh, but still uh, at the end of the day i i am really really excited to talk about the lcs and the lec and whenever some news pops up i do want to keep you guys up to date on all of that and today we're going to be doing just that with yet another cloud nine video yet another sven video today we have some bad news uh kind of a funny interesting story and then uh potentially some good news to throw in as well um but maybe not i'm not even 100 percent sure honestly um but we'll be getting you guys up today on all the latest um with what is going on so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video i would appreciate that so so much and subscribe to today on all my latest content help us run those numbers up a little bit i think last time i checked there was still right around 50 percent of people that watch my videos that are not subscribed and that just shows me uh, that we have a lot of room to grow still and that would be really really exciting uh, We're getting closer and closer to 11,000 subscribers. It's kind of the next big milestone That would be really really cool to hit, uh, you know sometime within the next couple of months But we'll have to wait and see it's just if, are you guys gonna click that button or not with that being said Let's get right into this uh, And what we are talking about is something that somebody had asked me a couple of weeks ago um, So I had talked about how Sven was in the process of role swapping to support um, He was over in Europe and he was playing a lot of support in Europe European solo queue and uh, you know it had been going pretty well obviously recently crossed the 1000 LP barrier uh, he's like top 100 or top 75 or something in EU solo queue um, he hadn't had the best win rates but he's been winning more recently stuff's been going good uh, and from what I had heard he was over in Europe to finish up his green card uh, you know there there was a world uh, where C9 was going to need Sven to be a resident for him to play obviously with how things worked out they ended up with Fudge Blabber Jensen uh, all being residents and then they have import Berserker and Sven whether he's an import or a resident it really doesn't matter but there were some worlds where you know maybe they could have swapped fudge to the top lane and imported a mid laner I know they were looking at some uh, definitely were looking at some European mid laners um, I know they had talked to Niski it seems like they had talked to random as well um, and, and and in that world Sven would have needed his green card there's maybe even a world where summit would have stayed top lane with fudge in mid lane again who knows but berserker was going to be staying for sure as long as he wanted to stay if c9 uh, needed a import at some other position Sven would have needed his green card to be able to play um, but now obviously Obviously, it doesn't matter as much, but still, that was the whole story. And going forward in the future, obviously, you still want Sven to have his green card. Just because it doesn't necessarily matter this summer split doesn't mean it couldn't matter next year for him or Cloud9 or both, potentially, if they end up selling him off, you know, trying to get uh, the maximum buyout as possible for another team, it's going to be with Sven having his green card uh, and having all the options possible and, and being a resident. You're just going to be so much more valuable. But he was over in Europe trying to get that done. Uh, but that had been like, I don't know. It's been a while at this point. I had three weeks, four weeks that he's been in Europe doing all this stuff. Um, obviously, we know the green card process can be really fickle. It can be really annoying. They make you jump through 100 hoops. And then sometimes stuff still gets messed up. Stuff still gets delayed. But uh, now... Cloud9 actually started their Korean boot camp, and obviously Sven is still in Europe. We just made that video a couple days ago, kind of updating his uh, solo queue process, and people have been wondering, like, hey, is Sven going to go to Korea? Why isn't Sven going to Korea? And it can't just always be, oh, hey, he's still getting his green card. Oh, hey, he's still getting his green card. Oh, hey, he's like, something had to have been going on. Something has to be up. Something has to be wrong, or maybe he's about to go to Korea. You know, who knows? And that's what some people had asked me, and I thought that was a great question in the comments that when I was making those videos, I hadn't necessarily thought about, um, but we did get Get some more information about that today so here we go uh is then not going to korea this was a post on the cloud nine subreddit 11 hours ago at least at the time i'm recording this which again was a great question and so many people are wondering this it was the number one uh post on the cloud nine subreddit obviously it only has 61 upvotes hey this is not the uh ls era cloud nine subreddit anymore things have definitely died down a lot and it's uh you know between splits when c9 isn't even in the tournament or anything like that so i'm sure things will kind of start getting ramped up once again once uh cloud nine's actually participating in the summer split hopefully participating in worlds all that but uh they asked is Sven going to korea this is the, kind of the biggest question on cloud nine fans minds right now and jack actually responded i always think this is really really cool um when you know high ranking people uh, take the time to actually respond to people on Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, all this stuff, uh, especially when it's questions that 
like real fans, especially like your hardcore fans, only the most hardcore fan is going to be wondering, is Sven going to be boot camping with the team in Korea? You know, if you're a casual Cloud9 fan, you're watching MSI right now, or you don't care about anything until the summer split starts. So this is cool that Jack is kind of reaching out and answering questions for those hardcore fans, you know, for those real, real, real C9 fans. Uh, and he says this, it was kind of an interesting story, kind of a bad news, kind of a weird story. He says the U.S. Embassy lost his passport in the final stages of getting his green card. What? What kind of sentence is that? He is expected to get another one in a week's time. So a week from today, I'm recording this on May 23rd. That would take us to May 30th. He's expected to get his passport, hopefully. Maybe it comes a little bit sooner. Maybe it comes a little bit later. Who knows? But this is what he's saying. Uh, and uh, hopefully the embassy is able to process it without losing it again. The funny painful thing is Tran, our VP of talent operations, literally flew out to Norway to meet with Sven to ensure that the paperwork and passport were safely delivered to the embassy. And he wraps it off with a self-made strikes again. Now, a couple things there. I think it's really, really cool that C9 is actually sending people out to help get this thing done because obviously, uh, as Western League of Legends fans or LCS fans or whatever, we know that visa issues, green card issues, all this stuff can be really, really annoying. These issues can always pop up. Uh, you know, we've seen, uh, obviously, Team Liquid get hit by this a couple of times. I think with um, uh, with Broxa and with Santorin, they've both had, you know, kind of different visa and green card issues that have uh, led to them missing some games and having some issues. And then that always brings to the question of, like, uh, especially with Broxa's time with TL, like, did that really derail the entire Broxa to TL experiment because he couldn't even get his green card? He couldn't even play. He couldn't even practice. He couldn't even scrim, do any of these things. Things, and it really, uh, you know, put them in a position for failure. Um, but we've seen green card and visa and all these things uh, pop up for, for teams all over the place. Um, you know, many teams have said, there's nothing you can do. Many teams said, hey, maybe we can do more. We're going to learn from the future. Fans are always like, hey, how are these things getting mismanaged? How are these things, um, you know, always having issues? How are we always dropping the ball? And then COVID obviously threw a whole curveball into the whole kind of process situation, all that. Um, so I think it's cool that Cloud9 was doing all this, but then you also realize that, hey, Things are still going to be outside of your control sometimes. Crazy, stupid, awful stuff is still going to happen. They lost his passport. That is insane. This is, you know, like the, the U.S. government. Um, you think things would be a little bit safer, a little bit more secure than this. And you think if an error happens, it's going to be user error on your side, not uh, somebody losing their passport in transit or whatever. Um, and that does suck. Um, again, like I said, if this actually mattered more. Now, uh, I guess this is something interesting to note. The LCS Summer Split is going to start on June 18th, at least according to Google. Google. So this is less than a month away. And uh, again, if Sven actually needed his green card, if he wasn't uh, going to be able to play as an import, if he needed to be a resident, this could have actually mattered. This, depending on how long this whole process takes, you know, if they lost his stuff or if it's going to delay things or whatever, it could have led to Sven potentially having to miss games, having to miss scrims, having to miss practice, having to miss time, maybe not getting to start out the split uh, with C9. And again, uh, with the position that C9's in, they just have one split. This isn't, hey, we're about to play spring split that doesn't even matter we have the whole year to kind of ramp up this is they get one shot at this they have summer split to ramp up and get ready then they need to finish top three in summer playoffs and then they need to show up at worlds this is a really really short time frame you don't want to be missing practice you don't want to be missing scrims you don't want to be missing any lcs games um but thankfully hey i don't really think this is going to matter all that much except about potentially missing this korean boot camp which i think it's not going to be the end of the world. I try not to read too much into boot camps and Korean solo queue and all this stuff. I don't really know how much of a difference it actually does make. I don't really know that we've ever had any like insane evidence that, hey, the players who go to Korea or go to boot camp, they come back and they're monsters, they're beasts, they win the LCS more often, they go to Worlds and do better more. You know, like I don't really think we've noticed any of that at this point. Now, I'm sure it doesn't hurt. I'm sure it's not a bad thing. Um, but Sven not being able to boot camp, at least for another week, who knows how long they're going to be there because there is a comment here that says, Jensen said on on stream yesterday that Sven is going to Korea soon, which maybe that's true, but maybe it's not because in that comment, Jack says that he's probably not going to be getting his stuff back for another week. Um, so I don't really know how that would make sense. We can see here that, uh, I think I have the tweets pulled up. Um, I don't know where to, I thought I had it. Um, but anyway, they, the cloud nine, uh, the whole boot camp, I think, started like a week ago. I think they left for Korea May, like 16, 17, 18, somewhere in there. They've been there for almost a week at this point. And then if Yankos doesn't get his stuff for another week, that's going to take us to the end of May. And then we'd be like 
three weeks away from the LCS starting, like Cloud9 has to come back at, at some point. They'd come back eventually. Um, so I, I don't know if Sven is going to be going to Korea at all. And obviously there is a chance he won't go to Korea at all, which I do think is ultimately bad news because one, when you're role swapping, learning a new position, you would love to play Korean solo queue, get to play against, um, you know, the, the really insane players over there, get your mechanics up, really learn a bunch of champions, limit test yourself against the best of the best. But also you would love to get to, uh, you know, play with Berserker, and you'd love to get to scrim with Cloud9. This is a guy who hasn't played competitive. Um, you know, he played in like the lock in tournament as AD carry or whatever, but he hasn't played in competitive uh, at all this past split in like the, the games that actually matter. Lock in still a preseason tournament. Uh, and he's going to be role swapping. You would love him to actually get some games in with Berserker again, getting to scrim against other teams and stuff. I think that actually could be very, very valuable. I think the Korean solo queue wouldn't be bad. I think it would be ultimately good. Um, but again, the scrims would be the biggest thing getting that head start on building the synergy building that bot lane uh, building up that communication and play style and everything with blabber and with berserker um, and with jensen you know everybody support is really um, a position that interacts with the whole team on different levels i mean even in modern day league of legends think of how often supports like vulcan and core jj how often they're even ganking like top lane you really have to be synergizing and on the same page with all of your teammates for for vision for setting up plays for finding flanks but also also, even for the early to mid game for, for setting up ganks and, and heralds and all this different stuff. Uh, and, and yes, Ben, it's awesome that he's grinding solo queue and I'm sure he's going to be a pretty decent support, but uh, it could be a slow start out of the gate for him and Cloud9 if, you know, they're not getting to play together before uh, or at least much before the season starts because obviously there is teams that are already boot camping and practicing together and all this stuff. Uh, so C9 might be out to a little bit of a slow start. But at the end of the day, summer split regular season doesn't that much, doesn't matter that much. Again, it's what you do in the playoffs. It's what you do at the end of the season uh and i don't think this is going to be like an excuse or anything like that for cloud nine at the end of the day but it's just kind of annoying and it's just kind of stupid how this weird stuff always happens and it's so weird how much of our esport and our competition and our teams and our leagues and our players rely on this whole really stupid green card visa situation or in all these systems where really silly really stupid stuff can happen that impacts players careers teams all this stuff but that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Let me drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Uh, do you think that this is going to negatively impact Sven, negatively impact Cloud9, their bot lane? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save today, and all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.